Hello, I'm currently on the toilet, but that's irrelevant. It's currently Pride Month, but that's not why we're here. Season two of my show, Hella Gay is here. He is out, he has risen. Hella Gay is the show that started with full screen this year where I talk to amazing people in the LGBTQ plus community just about them. It's basically a show to give resources, give information, and also show that you're not alone. There are so many humans that are very successful, very proud to be them, that are so different than what you see in traditional media. I basically wanted to make something that I would have wanted to watch when I was 13, 14, 15. Like the really crucial years where I was like, am I trans? Am I gay? Like, what am I? Because it wasn't a safe space for me to explore. And I didn't have the language to put to how I felt. So now I'm 21 years old, I identify as a trans guy, and also have a lot of strong feelings with non-binary and gender neutrality. I traveled the country and I met amazing people that I never would have otherwise and didn't even know that these stories were going on and being lived. Just from making this show, I've grown so much as a person. Like I look at LGBTQ+, so differently than I did before. I don't look at it as like, oh that's gay and everything else is or straight. Or the rainbow, yeah that's a gay symbol. I look at it as just human. It's literally just a spectrum. It's, I think it's so strange that like a baby's born and just because of its generals, we think it's gonna think a certain way and we think it's gonna have a certain life and we, we treat it differently. No one knows who you are but you. It's not like a gay person's born or a straight person's born. It's not black and white like that. Everything is a gray area. On this season, I met a lot of they I met transgender twins. I dove into the drag king world. People that are queer in the music industry. People that are queer and married and have kids and like they're groovy. I talked to someone who went through conversion therapy and is leading the fight on ending it in America. Over the course of the month, three episodes are gonna be dropped every week and there's nine total. You should watch Hella Gay if you want language to how you feel, validation, or resources. That's if it. you are a strong pansexual kid, if you come from a home where people don't accept you, if you're transgender, if you're not sure what you identify as, like, join the crew. Go check it out right now. The link will be in the description box. The episodes that are currently out, I talk to a gender therapist. It's all about who gender therapy is for, resources on how to get started, how to involve your parents in the process, and how to ask to get gender therapy. I talk to a couple drag kings and get transformed into the best boy ever. Talk about the whole world and how gender can be an art form. And the third episode, I go to Orlando, Florida and I visit the Pulse nightclub. That was the site of one of the biggest hate crimes that happened almost a year ago. On June 12th, it's going to be the anniversary. I talk to a community leader and we talk all about love and strength. You are 100% absolutely never alone. Bottom line. Ah, but yeah, I'm so excited. Um, not just because like the show's out, but I'm excited for like you or just any young teens to go watch it and grow from it. I know I did. I grew so much from making it. So hopefully you have the same experience too while watching it. Link is at the top of the description box to start your free trial on full screen so you can watch Hella Gay. There are more episodes to come. Please comment down below what you think of it. And if you haven't seen season one yet, that's also on there. Okay, that's all I had to say. Goodbye. Miles.